First, though, plans that could see the closure of a hospital in South London and an A&E department in the north of the capital are being kept secret. That is according to research by the think tank The King's Fund. It claims health managers in more than 40 areas across England have been told not to reveal the cost cuts to the public. One of five South West London hospitals, including St George's in Tooting, could be closed. Jade Gamlin is there for us. Uh, Jade, what more can you tell us at this stage? Well, we know that St George's here in Tooting is one of five hospitals in South West London that could possibly face closure as a result of this investigation by the King's Fund. The report did say that St George's was the least likely to close as it had various specialist services which would be costly to relocate. However, four others across the area, which include Croydon, Epsom, St Helia and Kingston, could all face closure. It's part of NHS plans to make services services more sustainable, uh, financially sustainable by 2020 and to deliver services which better support residents in local areas. It's also highlighting possible changes to services elsewhere in the capital. Yes, that's correct. So these STP or sustainability and transformation plans are causing a lot of controversy across the capital. Uh, it's been highlighted that in north central London, nine services could be merged to just five and that would result in mental health crisis services as well as emergency surgery being combined so there would be less provision for residents in those areas. That said, the NHS has said that this would better support people in these areas. Uh, we have had a quote from the NHS and they've spoken out today as one second. Uh, the NHS medical director, Professor Sir Bruce Koff, has said when you're trying to improve care for patients across a whole system, things are never going to be straightforward. It would be naive to think otherwise. And the director went on to say claims of secrecy have been overtaken by the fact that we've asked that all STPs are now published over the next few weeks. And this extra time has provided local hospitals, GPs and mental health service leaders the time they need to develop a starting point for local conversations. Well, well, people have said that these STPs have only been discussed with high-level managers and that frontline staff and patients haven't been included in the conversations in how plans going forward which might affect services could change. So we expect a lot of noise from those once these STPs are published over the coming weeks. Jay Gamlin there for us over at uh, St George's in Tooting at lunchtime. Plans that could see the closure of a hospital in South London and an A&E department in the north of the capital are being kept secret. That is according to research by the think tank The King's Fund. It claims health managers in England have been told not to reveal details of more than 40 reviews to the public. Well, one of five South West London hospitals, including St George's in Tooting, could be closed. Jay Gamlin is there for us. Jade, what more can you tell us at this stage? Well, Tooting Hosp uh, St George's Hospital here in Tooting is indeed one of five that could face closure as part of these NHS cost-cutting plans. The investigation by the King's Fund found that St George's was perhaps the least likely to close as it has very specialist, costly services that would be expensive to relocate. However, there are four others across southwest London that could face closure, which include Croydon, Epsom, St Helia and Kingston. Now, these are all part of plans by the NHS to make services more sustainable by 2020. And on top of cutting several services, they've said that they'll be prioritising self-care and for digital support for patients in their own homes. And Jade, today's report also highlighting concerns about other facilities across the capital. That's right. So in north central London, several hospitals are thought to have, the investigation has said that several hospitals may be merged in order to make them more sustainable. They include some of the capital's largest hospitals, such as the Royal Free University College Hospital and the Whittington. And that would involve the merging of key services like mental health crisis care and emergency surgery. 
And the NHS has come out as saying as these cost-cutting plans are a vital part of moving services forward. And we have heard from medical director Professor Sir Bruce Keogh, who said when you're trying to improve care for patients across a whole system, things are never going to be straightforward. It would be naive to think otherwise. He goes on to say claims of secrecy have been overtaken by the fact that we've asked that all STPs, all these plans that have been outlined, are now published over the next few weeks. And the extra time that this has provided has given local hospitals, GPs and mental health service leaders the time they need to develop a starting point for local conversations. Well, evidently, these local conversations are about to kick off. It's emerged that only NHS local leaders have been working on these plans. Therefore, undoubtedly, frontline staff and patients will have a say on the future of their care and services. Jay Gowling there in Tooting for us. That's a 